Hi, Mr. Furman and History Class. Today we'll be talking about the four-stroke engine. The design of the internal combustion engine was actually first created by Christian Huygens in 1609, but was never built. His design was supposed to be filled by gunpowder. But it was Nicholas Otto who invented and built an efficient gas motor engine in 1876. In 1885, Gottlieb Daimler constructed what was recognized as the modern gas engine. But the first four-stroke cylinder internal combustion engine which is the modern engine used today, was invented by a German inventor named Nicholas Otto, along with Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach in 1876. When Nicholas Otto patented his invention, the German courts did not hold his patent to cover all in cylinder compression engines or even the four stroke cycle, and after this decision, in cylinder compression became universal. Wow, did you know? And Nicholas Otto is also the first person to add a four-stroke engine to a motorcycle. I did not know. Well, now you do. Hey, Travis, did you know that in the late 1880s, Henry Ford brought the engine over to America where he started the Ford Auto Company? Carl Benz built his first four-wheeled car powered by a combustion engine in 1894. He was the first person to integrate the internal combustion engine with the chassis. In 1896, Carl Benz invented the boxer engine, also known as the horizontally opposed engine. You know, Travis, I know the history behind the internal combustion engine, but I don't know how it works. I've always wanted to learn. Me too. I want to know also. Well, Stuart and Travis, I can help you with that problem. What happens is, the reason why it's called the four-stroke engine because there are four steps into the engine. The first step is that the gas and the air gets combined. It then enters the cylinder. That's the first step. The second step is the piston compresses the gas and air, combining, making it more dense. Third step is the spark plug ignites the mixture, sending the piston back down down the cylinder. The fourth step is that the gas will release the gas mix mixture out the exhaust pipe. Cool. Great. So four steps make the internal combustion work. Travis, awesome. why don't you pop the hood so we can show the viewers what it looks like? Now, Mr. Furvis class, this is where all the magic happens. As you can see, right here this is where your engine is in this area right here this is your spark plugs that ignites the gas and underneath all here there are four cylinders one two three and four the pistons are stuck under there over here you have the gas you have the air intake this is where your engine gets all the air the gas tank as you can see is over there where you can't see it and this is a Honda So Johnny, sh show us the power of this engine. Okay.